Hello and welcome to Nadia's Modern Imaginings. Today I have got a very exciting project. I am going to be painting one of the biggest paintings I have ever painted. I used to paint really large things when I was at art school. I haven't done anything big in a few years uh, until I got asked to paint the window of a local cafe just last Christmas. I was so happy with that and being able to do large scale work, I decided that since there's an open call exhibition coming up, I am going to be painting a large painting. This is the size of my usual paintings, this tiny little piece of card. I am going to be painting a big gigantic canvas. <laughs> I'm so looking forward to this. But first let me just explain, this is canvas board. It's solid, it's not a stretched canvas. You cannot easily paint with encaustic wax on stretched canvas for the main reason that the wax will crack. And so I always paint on solid surface if I can to preserve the painting. Right, let's get into this. Techniques for painting on canvas vary. There is, of course, a slight tooth to this and with encaustic wax it's totally different from how you would paint on card. So last Christmas I did a series of lighthouse paintings which were so so popular I sold every single one of them and that is what I'm going to be painting here on my big canvas. Right let's go. Right now I've got everything all nicely set up however Oh dear, <laughs> just a little bit too big. I'm going to have to move my waxes to one side. He won't see the colours I'm going to be painting with, but I'm going to be starting with the sky and working up the storminess first, and then going in with my stylus for the detail of the lighthouse. Right, so that is mostly in the frame. I'm going to be starting from the top and working my way down so I can just move the canvas as I go. Here is my tentative colour scheme. I start by laying down generous splotches of the sky colour. Starting with the lighter cream and browns, going into blues, blacks, purples, and finally with the touch of bronze on the top. Then I move down into the sea area, continuing the sky into the sea and blending up in sharp strokes of the iron to make wave type shapes. Here I'm using quite a firm pressure with the iron because the canvas sucks up the wax and needs several layers for it to actually cover all the white of the canvas. I add splashes of highlight in bronze and darker purple and black areas in the waves. Then I move up into the sky. First I add a light highlight for where the lighthouse is going to be. Then I do this back and forth motion with the iron, creating these cloud shapes in the sky. And this is very much a process of blending and blending and more blending. Okay, so the base background is mostly done. I might add a little bit more of this coppery gold up here. We are having a lighthouse in the centre and I have my stylus all ready to go. Set it to high to start with and I'll take it down a notch for doing the finer details. <laughs> Let that warm up and use similar colour palette for this I think. I start by drawing out the lighthouse shape with the rust brown colour, adding a few little bronze highlights here and there, filling in the rocks that it's sitting on. Then I go and add some detail to the lighthouse itself and instantly decide I'm not going to use my same colour palette and instantly regret it. I struggle with various stripes. I have about three or four different lighthouse designs in my head whilst I'm painting this, so I'm kind of switching between them. Whilst I like the 
red and white stripes. I think a slightly more muted brick outer with some windows and a door looks a lot better here. Adding more waves unifies it. Now this full painting, large size, did only take me around about an hour and I'm maybe going to be doing a few more of these. So here is the final result. For now, I may enter this into the open art competition. I may do another similar one as is. I am hopeful that it will get in and that should be on around the middle to end of January at the Nairn Community and Arts Centre. Please come along and see this in the flesh. Thank you very much for watching. Bye!